Everything and anything is photographable. This is the biggest lesson I learned from reading Stephen Shore's book, Uncommon Places. And maybe this lesson might seem obvious at first, but if you allowed me, I'd like to show you how this lesson goes beyond the mere fact that we can take photos of anything we want. But first, let's lay a little bit of background. Stephen Shore is a contemporary American photographer. He was born in 1947 in New York City and began taking photographs at a young age. His passion for photography led him to study under the legendary American photographer Walker Evans at the age of 17. Shore's work has been heavily influenced by the American tradition of street photography, as well as the work of photographers such as Robert Frank and William Eggleston. In the 1970s, he began to focus on documenting the American landscape, particularly the suburban and urban environments. From this came Uncommon Places, Shore's most famous work, first published in 1982. It features a collection of photographs taken during Shore's travels throughout the United States between 1973 and 1981, focusing primarily on seemingly mundane subjects such as gas stations, motels, and parking lots. The photographs in Uncommon Places are incredibly detailed and carefully composed, emphasizing shapes and colors. Thanks to the use of a large format camera, he was able to capture images with an incredible amount of detail and clarity. To me, Stephen's work demonstrates us how even the most mundane of things can be raised into the status of art by careful thought and composition. As I mentioned in the beginning, the lesson everything and anything is photographable might seem pretty straightforward at first. It challenges us to look beyond the obvious and see the potential for art and beauty in the everyday. And it helps us develop a deeper appreciation for the world and our place in it. When we embrace this lesson, we start to pay attention to the world around us in a different way. We become more aware of the small details, the subtle changes in light and color, and the unique characteristics of the places and people we encounter. We start to see the patterns and rhythm of our own lives. In this way, photography can become a form of meditation, a way for us to slow down and pay attention to our surroundings. And by being present in the moment, we can develop a greater sense of mindfulness and appreciation for the world around us. And I do believe that even if our main focus is to document things in an objective and truthful way, there's still place and room for personal perspective and expression. For example, in Uncommon Places, Stephen Shore captured images of ordinary places and objects that many people may overlook. However, through his careful composition and use of color and light, he elevated these mundane subjects to something beautiful and worthy of attention. Shore's photographs reveal not only the world he was documenting, but also his own perspective and values. They reveal his interest in the beauty of the everyday and his willingness to look beyond the obvious to find it. It's important to keep in mind that through our choices of composition, subject matter, technique, we reveal not only the world we're documenting, but also our own inner world. To me, the lesson of uncommon places is simple but profound. And for me, going through the book's pages was like a sort of divine revelation, because not only did it further open my eyes to the artistic potential of the things that were constantly surrounding me, something that I was already intuitively chasing for quite a long time, it also gave me the reassurance I needed to trust my own vision and further let go of this need to always go for the majestic and grand photographs. In a way, Shore's work is a testament to the power of photography to document both the external and the internal worlds, turning the simple act of photographing something into a transformative experience a way for us to dig deeper and to seek out the deeper truth that lies beneath the surface.
And that is a wrap. <laughs> I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, please leave a comment below, give your like, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know what you think of this lesson. Did you find it useful? Have you ever experienced anything like this? Write your response in the comments below. Thanks again for your attention, and I hope to see you next time. Peace.